Hey, welcome everyone. I'm Leslie Kershane, CEO of the Tri-Cities Chamber. Welcome to February. Uh, February is Black History Month and today, February 1st, is also Lunar New Year. So I'm going to turn things over to Chloe, our events manager, and Michelle, our marketing coordinator, for a greeting. On behalf of everyone at the Tri-Cities Chamber of Commerce, we wish you good health, fortune, and prosperity in the year of the tiger. Happy Lunar New Year! Thank you so much, Chloe and Michelle. Okay, so February is rolling in without any shortage of challenges for our members and member businesses. We just circulated the BC Chamber's uh, functional closures and pandemic recovery survey. Please do take the time to fill out these surveys when they're open. Um, it helps us so much here at the Tri-Cities Chamber as well as in the wider chamber network across the province to know exactly what's happening to help us better advocate uh, for you and what you need now from every level of government. So thank you for that. We're here for you and we're listening. Um, a few announcements coming up. Save the date for International Women's Day on March the 8th. We're very much hoping that by then we can get together in person as we celebrate the economic, political, and social achievements of women past, present, and future. This year's theme is Break the Bias at Work, School, and in the Community. We're going to be welcoming keynote speakers, Robin Chisholm, VP of Commercial Banking from Scotiabank, as well as Christina McKenzie, First Nations artist from Sneaky Native Art. We're also going to have a panel that is yet to be announced um, and Q&A at the event, so stay tuned for that. We do have, of course, our Business Excellence Awards uh, moved to April 30th. Please do uh, log in and get your tickets for that. It should be a wonderful evening. And Munch and Mingle is next coming up on February 17th. We also have uh, Mayor Brad West from Port Coquitlam, a coffee talk at 8 a.m. on February 23rd. And BC Budget Day is February 22nd this year. We are in talks with the Minister Selena Robinson's office to bring you a budget presentation. As soon as we have details on that, we will announce that. Um, and lastly, I wanted to just thank so much our Launch to Success program Thank you to the YWCA for involving us in this amazing initiative. We've enjoyed connecting with young entrepreneurs and experienced chamber members together for that mentorship opportunity. Uh, thank you so much to the chamber members who volunteered their time, expertise and knowledge with these up and coming young uh, entrepreneurs. It was uh, fantastic and stay tuned for future collaborations between us and the YWCA. Have a great rest of the week and get your booster shots as soon as you can. Thanks everyone.